Hey guys, up in the Oregon mountains today, Dripping Springs side, Oregon up there. <laughs> um, coming through this wash, boys are taking a nap. We took them into, into the city, uh, took them to a little museum, and now they're taking a nap in the car. So I got this time to come up. This is one of my favorite washes. I've had done multiple videos up this wash, but this is one of my favorite washes on this side to come in peruse, play in, however you want to put it. Um, so today's video is very quick, simple. It is over, um, it is over a very small piece of gear uh, that if you have the time and the ability to make it is, it's not detrimental. It, it can greatly increase your personal, um, personal survival kit uh, in your kit, in your, in your gear. Um, so before we get into that, Sponsors of today's video are Brownells, Nautilus Ammunitions, Good Camo, and more. Thank you to all of them for sponsoring, affiliating themselves with the channel, um, helping it grow, making it so that I can come out and do this kind of stuff year round, oh, weekly, you know. So thank you to them. All the links and discount codes provided by them are in my link tree in my bio on Bush underscore plaid on Instagram. So thank you to them. <coughs> and also thank you to Swamp Fox for sending me their Saber Prism, um, giving me a chance to beat it up a little bit, take it out, see how I like it, use it, shoot it, etc., etc. So thank you to Swamp Fox for that. And a big thank you to True Spec. Dude over at True Spec um, hooked me up with these new, were they, what do they say? Duds? These new duds. Um, sent me some Multicam Arid, which uh, we'll see how it, how it shows up, how effective it is today. Um, but yeah, thank you to Thank you to True Spec for sending me some camis to test out and beat up here in the Southwest as well. So thank you to all those guys. All right. All right. So the small piece of kit, piece of gear, it's a very simple piece of gear. I'm going to move the camera down so I can show you. But the small piece of kit is char cloth. It's a very simple little piece of kit. I'll show this. I'll show this whole little thing well, lower, but it is just char cloth simple to make um it's very efficient it catches a spark really well whether it's your ferro rod spark or a flint and steel spark um like a like a rigid like an old school flint and steel spark um i've been using it that was that was one of the first ways i learned how to make a primitive um not match not lighter fire was with a flint and steel and char cloth and then moved on to learning on a, about a bow drill and using char cloth with a bow drill without a bow drill um using a bow drill with char cloth without char cloth etc so yeah so that's the the small little piece of kit for today's video so let me move the camera down and we'll just kind of go over this little this little kit that i have that the char cloth is in all right all right so i'll show you the contents of the the kit what i'm done with the char cloth so this is char cloth not not the best quality there's still some white in the cotton uh, this was made normally how you make char cloth you take an altoids tin something like this or a coffee can and you poke a hole in it on the lid um at the bottom of the coffee can and you just put it in a fire and well put the hole in it you put like white cotton, um, like cotton t-shirts. It has to be 100% cotton, can't be any blends, can't be anything like that. Put it in the tin, punch a little hole, put in a fire. The, um, I don't even, I don't know what the chemical reaction is, but it creates pure carbon, which is when it, when it catches a spark, it, it starts to, you know how like when you burn a piece of paper, it kind of slowly, that, that line of glow, slowly spreads up the paper as it burns. That's what happens when you put a spark on this. So yeah, so that's it. You just 100% cotton in a tin. It has to be metal in a tin, like an Altoids tin or a coffee can. Uh, coffee can has to have a metal lid to it. Punch a hole in the top. You put it in the fire and you just let it sit for a while. It'll be smoking. You'll pour smoke out. And then once the smoke is, it's done smoking, you keep watching it. Once this, it's done smoking, you take it out of the fire, let it cool off, open it up, and it'll all be black. This was done 
in let by lighting the cotton on fire in a coffee can and just letting it burn because I live on a base on a military base so I can't have like a roaring fire in a bed of coals to do this I think you could probably do it with a barbecue haven't tried that yet but yeah so there you go char cloth and then in this little kit is a small razor knife and a three inch ferro rod so I keep this I have I have multiple of these I keep these in my pocket in my pack and stuff um, especially in cold weather scenarios where like your lighter may not work potentially you're, you you can carry matches but if you're shaking and you're too cold you might not be able to strike a match but you can at least strike a ferro rod that creates a lot of sparks that as long as a couple of the hot sparks get on char cloth it'll light it so there you go a little char cloth kit i would suggest putting it in is an emergency uh in your emergency kit in your gear so there you go all right thank you guys for watching have a good one